Good morning, everybody. Today, we're talking about calling. You know, when you have a calling, no matter how clear that calling is, you, you have two options with that calling. The first is to admit failure, to give up, to move on, or to redefine the calling to something smaller, much more manageable, much more reasonable. And you don't even have to really even admit that you've gotten a calling to fail. You don't have to define it. And of course the second option is to attempt to succeed and this is gonna take a lot. Yeah, okay, camera points my way. Oops. The thing that's like hard about success is that you're gonna face an almost unending line of obstacles both internally and externally. And you might not see fruit for a long time. And that that's what it looks like to attempt to accept your calling. And I'm currently trying to not fail. Five hours later. Yeah, we've been meeting for five hours. Oops. today? Yeah. Wonderful. You missed it, didn't you? Yeah. In this vision that God's given me of doing media as missions, um, there's an initial step that's just saying yes. I've said yes. And, you know, that's meant moving, moving to Norway, overseas. But while I was there in Norway, God gave me this vision of starting a YouTube channel called Stay and Go. To be honest, that was not what I wanted to do. Um, I mean, initially it sounded really cool, but when you get into thinking about actually doing a YouTube channel, it's a lot of work and trying to do something. I mean, at first it's kind of cool, like, oh, God wants me to do what I want to do. Like, I want to do a YouTube channel. But then there's this wrestle point of like, well, how do you do that? What does that look like? And so I kind of gave up on the whole thing. I mean, I was in the middle of doing another vision but then the Lord said, no, that's not the mission anymore. And even told us as a family to move from Norway here to Kansas city. And it's launched me onto this journey of self-development, self-development is him developing me, but he keeps bringing up this YouTube channel and all the way through my time as a missionary, I've just been frustrated internally. Uh, to be honest, in a lot of ways, I, I've been confused as to why. I mean, I'm finally doing missions. Why is it frustrating me? And it took me um, several years of frustration to finally get to the point of realizing where the frustration was coming from. The frustration isn't a, something I didn't realize when I first started doing media's missions, and that is that most of the media work that Christians, Christian organizations do is really kind of like branding work um, or, or straight up promotion work. But either way, it, it is about promoting. What is it promoting? It's promoting what that ministry is in person. And that, that promotion piece, it's really about saying we've got a ministry, a school, an event, a church gathering, and that ministry is where you're gonna get transformed. And the media is really just an advertisement. It's really just pushing people. Even when it's postuling to offer value, that value is really just about bolstering the brand to push people to transformation that comes from the school. And that's what I've done in YWAM. I've, I've worked with this missions organization that as a media person for YWAM, all I'm doing is promoting this school and I love the school and I love what they do, but it hasn't felt right for some reason. And it was this, this spring that I realized that what God has put in my heart, the calling he's put in me that I can't unhook from my heart is this calling to do life transformation online, that it's not about promoting an in-person transformation. It's about seeing that transformation happen online. The best example that I could give you for this is like, Dave Ramsey, like he 
has figured out there's a specific kind of person that has this particular issue with money. And through these teachings, that person can become free and there's practical skills they can develop that can help them step into a better way of doing money. The reality is that Christians have the solution to all of the problems that we face as people. Like, they know how to solve the problem of identity. They know how to solve the problem of brokenness, of enslavement. All these different issues that you could face, they all have solutions in Christianity. And I've seen those solutions offered effectively in person, but I haven't seen them with a few exceptions offered effectively online. And it was realizing that, that, that made me realize what God was calling me to. You see, trying to do another version of it, just promoting Christian ministries, that wasn't what God was calling me to. And it didn't quite connect. It didn't quite fit. And the reality is, is that you can't just do something. You got to do what God's put in you. God's put in me to see transformation happen online. It's taken me years of trying to say yes to finally get to this level of clarity. But all along the way, and even now to this moment, there's all this opposition internally, externally from, from Satan, from my own flesh, from expectations that I have that others have. And there's all of this wrestling because it's, it's not doing something that everyone else is already doing. It's not a space that I can just show up and join a team that's already doing this. I'm having to, to build all that. I'm having to answer all the, the vision questions. I'm having to engage with all of the, what's the first step and how do I play this out? And why am I talking about all this? Because this is what saying yes to a calling entails. It entails this frustrating, long journey that feels mostly like failing. It feels mostly like not working effectively. And I'm in the middle of it. But what I want to do here is share from this journey, partially for myself to process through, but, but to help you, if you are also wrestling with calling, to help you wrestle with it and help you understand it. Because it's hard. It's hard enough if you do understand it. It's really hard if you don't understand it. And I've been on this fight to try and grasp it, to try and understand it so that I won't give up. My goal for me, my goal for you is that we don't fail, that we don't admit failure that we don't agree with a lesser version of the calling or redefine success, but that we actually persist, even if it means no fruit for a decade, even if it means just struggle that we don't give up, that we keep going until we see it work, until we see it happen. And that's what this is going to be. This channel is going to be documenting that journey of trying to launch this online ministry that, that right now is just an idea. If you are connecting with what I'm saying, let me know down in the comments how this hits you. Um, I don't think I'm the only one. I think there's a lot of us that have this, this burning calling on our hearts that we're struggling with one way or another. And uh, maybe this can become a community place for us to wrestle with this together.